Hello and welcome to a Thread Up unboxing. I have not done one of these in a while, but I finally had enough money in my Bronco fund to buy a men's box. But when I went on the rescue website at Thread Up, they did not have one. However, they did have the Thread Up DIY designer box available, and I have not been able to score one of those in a while. So I did what any good reseller would do and posted it on Instagram. <laughs> And I purchased one for myself and then a few of my other reseller friends also was able to purchase one. So this is actually a collab video with Victoria over at Super Geeked, Tanya from Double T's Treasures, and Jesse from Gorgeous. So all of us were able to score one of these boxes. It is seven items for $140 plus the $9.99 for shipping, which is part of why I haven't ordered a thread up box in a while is because I am very salty about that. And then of course the taxes that I have to pay because in Virginia I have to pay taxes on clothing. So a total amount is $160.49, which is a lot of money. And don't worry, I'll get into the Bronco stuff at the end of the video, but I have delayed enough and I am gonna go ahead and open the box and we will see what we get. Now, I have never lost money on one of these boxes, but I have definitely only kind of like broken even. And for me personally, paying like over $20 for an item, it has to be amazing. But I do rarely find uh, designer stuff in my area. And when I do, I have a tendency to keep it. I did find one pair of Prada shoes that were in my size, which I kept, but I don't have to go to court anymore because I don't work my nine to five. So I might, you know, sell those soon. And then I have two Stella McCartney dresses that I haven't been able to get rid of because I've talked multiple times on my channel how much I love Stella McCartney. So maybe there'll be some Stella in here and I will end up keeping it, in which case, you know, that's fine. But you can, you just saw me rip up the tape because I did not bring anything stabby here to use. And let's see what's inside. So here is the receipt saying that, yay, you bought the box. Congratulations. Woo. <laughs> and then of course we have the uh, teal polka dot paper. Although this is very nicely wrapped, which normally it's just shoved on top. I will say this is a, that is a green bustier. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I am already mildly excited. Wow. Okay, so we have some bubbles. And we have a box. I think we have shoes that are still in the original box. Oh my god, okay. So the first thing I find is covered in deodorant stains, which is fine. I can clean that off. Look at this! It is a dress! It is a little, like, bustier dress. This is, this is giving very, like... 2010s to me the brand is self-portrait which i have never heard of this is size six i might be able to fit in this uh it does have like this i don't know what this is there's a loop here so maybe there's supposed to be other pieces to this dress but it has like these button details it has some eyelet lace down at the bottom that makes up the skirt it's multi-tiered I have never heard of this brand. Hopefully Editing Bob will, you know, throw me a bone and put comps over here for y'all of similar items. But I mean, the first thing I picked out is green. So I have a good feeling about this. Uh, I, again, this is gonna be super easy to clean off. Actually, can I put this in the wash? Cause this feels like all cotton. If it's all cotton, I just put it in the hand wash setting and let it happen. Do not wash, do not bleach, do not tumble dry dry clean only. I am going to ignore all of that. I do not recommend doing that. I'm just doing it for myself. I am going to be my own, my own worst enemy there. But this is like solid cotton canvas and I'm just going to put this in a delicates bag and uh, tell them no. I'm an adult. You're not my real dad. I can do what I want and that is exactly what I'm going to do. There is some, I think this, does this have pockets? Oh, it does have pockets. It has pockets. It's a dress with pockets. I got a gum wrapper. Sweet. All right, so there's the first piece. <laughs> um, 
another piece of clothing. This is Diane von Furstenberg. Uh, this is a size six. Did we get a wrap dress? No, we did not get a wrap dress. One of these days. Uh, it is a women's size six. It's just a blue basic dress. It just looks like a sheath dress. Feels kind of like polyester. It feels a lot like polyester actually. Maybe a polyester silk blend. Okay, well, I have no idea what this is made out of. It feels like a polyester silk blend. It's also see-through. So I don't know if this is supposed to have a dress underneath of it or not. I, again, hopefully will be able to find something over here. But, you know, Diane von Furstenberg dress of indiscriminate clothing material. Wow. One of my seven items is a Giorgio Armani tie. Are you kidding me? I would not pick this up at the thrift store. Are you kidding me? You gave me a tie. I, wow. I take back what I said about this being a good box. Jesus. Ooh. Cool, they gave the only person out of the four of us that like selling ties the tie in the box. So here is a tie I would not pick up at the thrift store, even for $3. So there is that. There is Marc Jacobs, also not designer in my opinion. I got a little wristlet. Wow. That is, that is two things now that I would not, I would not pick this up for $3 at the thrift store. So, okay. I am now less excited about this box. We have another box in a box. So I'm guessing these are glasses of some sort, hopefully, and not another tie that they just decided was special enough to put in a box. Nope. We do have glasses. They are in bubbles. So hooray. And these do have one, looks like one scratch on the outside. It does have a slight scratch on the nose bridge, but we have a pair of Tom Ford glasses that are heckin' tight. Again, giving very 2010s uh, with this style, but hopefully again, the comps will be over there. Not mad at the, th not mad at the glasses. I'm just, can you tell I'm actually kind of pissed? <laughs> I cannot believe they, they said a DIY designer box is a tie and a, a Marc Jacobs wallet. Okay. Uh, we do have the box. I will do this last because I just, I need a minute. So we are at two dresses a tie, a what wristlet, and so that's five items. We have a giant bag that needs some love. I have never heard of this brand. The brand is Mulberry. It is very well loved. It is something just fell out of it. I don't know what just fell out of it. Oh, I got a penny. <laughs> cool. That'll go towards the tie. Wow. All right. I've never heard of this brand Mulberry. Um, is there anything else in here? I have another penny. I've gotten two cents now back. Small miracles, I guess. Jeez. Okay. This is dirty. This is very dirty. I got a dime. 12 cents back now. I guess it's great that they decided to give me some of my money back already by giving me the grossest bag. I mean, it's green. Disgusting. All right, I'm going to have to do some serious cleaning to this. I don't even know if it's going to be worth cleaning because we have this lovely wear through here in the piping. I mean, I might just put some brown thread around that and disclose it just to like hold it in together and prevent further damage. 
because this is some like very well worn soft leather so I don't think that'll hurt my hands too much to try to get a, a number nine sharp through that. It is also missing the crossbody. This would have had a, a separate strap as well. That is missing. Again, hopefully I'll be able to show you over here what comps would be like. And no, there is not another item in here besides the box. So, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna email thread up because no. I'm like, I can understand there being damage on one of the items, but like, this is not designer. I do not care what you say. This is not designer and I do not consider Marc Jacobs designer either. And this is just sad. Like, that's two things I would expect out of the fun box, not out of the DIY designer box. So this is Woman by Common Projects, another brand I have never heard of. It is just a pair of not so white anymore sneakers that has a barcode on the side of it for some reason. I don't know. This has just super significant heel strike. Like, look at that. Super significant wear on the right here. Just disgusting inside. Wow. It does still have the original box in the dust bag, which at this point, oh, and a pair of spare laces. Which will be great because these laces are grody. So I will switch out the laces, but like, Again, this is why I just buy the men's boxes. The men's boxes have never let me down. I've always made stellar money from them. I've gotten designer in the men's boxes. The first men's box I got was a vape shirt. So, I'm a little pissed. <laughs> but yeah, uh, hopefully the other three ladies got better than this. I am actually going to message thread up and see what they have to say. Uh, I will let y'all know in the comments when I know what they're gonna do, which is probably nothing, but you know, a girl can ask. So now I'm gonna go into the Bronco stuff. So since the last Bronco video, you know, we left off at like $93 and some change, which was what it was last time. And I said I needed whatnot. So the last of the whatnot money is cleared, which was a total of $132.33. So I added that to the Bronco fund. And then I sold two more items uh, that I had already previously listed. One of them was from the men's box. I honestly did not think these would sell, but they did and full my full asking price. So it's this pair of Steve Madden, like very 90s dad church style uh, dress shoes. They sold for my full asking price of $19.87 and the buyer paid for shipping. And then this is actually from my own closet from when I worked at Adidas. And this is from like the 2010 Boston Marathon year because, you know, I would work the Boston Marathons when I worked at Adidas. And this sold for $10 and the buyer paid for shipping. I wore this a lot. I wore it when I played roller derby. I wore it when I ran. I wore it when I worked at Adidas. So this got a lot of use. So the fact that this still sold for $10 is amazing. And then that left me with a total of $255.56. And then I spent... $160.49 on this box of disappointment and that left me with a total of $95.07. So wow. I, you know, maybe this will turn out better than I hoped, but you know, as I, Editing Bob hasn't gotten into this yet, so maybe Editing Bob will chime in. Okay, so Editing Bob here, and if I can clean up the Common Project shoes and the Mitzi Mulberry Hobo bag, I'll like make my money back and then maybe a little bit of profit, but I'm still really disappointed. I'm really glad I got to collab with the ladies, but you know, the whole reason why I was like, okay with getting the designer bag was because it was going to go to the Bronco fund. And, you know, I'd hope that I'd be able to make some really good profit off of this box because it's designer pieces and 
I'm, I'm still really disappointed. I probably will not buy this again until it's been long enough I've forgotten how disappointing this box is. But thank you guys so much for watching. Again, go check out the other ladies box just to see if maybe I'm the only one that had probs. <laughs> uh, but otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye. Bye. Hero, hero, I wanna be a hero, hero. Who the